Hi folks, welcome back to Research Methods Catch-Up, where we're on pilot studies still. OK, so in this session, we'll just take a look at recapping knowledge of pilot studies so far and look at ways of how we can use pilot studies in research. OK, a little bit true or false to start with. Um, so a few of these all appear on the screen. You have to just decide if it's true or false. Number one, pilot studies are conducted throughout the whole study. Take a moment to think, is that true or false? It is false. They're obviously done before the study. Next one. Pilot studies are completed by an independent researcher to avoid bias. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Is it true or false? It's false. Practically, that would be almost impossible for every single pilot study to be carried out by someone independent. Next one. Pilot studies allow researchers to make changes and improvements to their intended study. Is true because that's what pilot studies are all about. Then we've got pilot studies generate data that can be added to the main research for data analysis. Is that true or false? Is false. What about pilot studies add scientific credibility to the research? True or false? It's true. Remember, the purpose of them really is to test or kind of increase the validity of research. All right, so we're going to take a look at answering pilot studies questions related to different research and justifying the use of pilot studies. So I've put a stem here on screen. So we've got imagine a researcher is telling you about a study they are due to start. The task intends to give participants a line judgment task where a real participant would be placed in a room with seven confederates actors who had agreed their answers in advance. The real participant will be deceived and led to believe that the other seven people are also real participants. Think along the lines of Ash for this. Uh, in turn, each person had to say out loud which line A, B or C was most like the target line in length. The correct answer will always be obvious and conformity rates will be recorded and assumed to indicate the presence of normative social influence, the desire to be liked. So your question is, what would you say to this researcher to convince them that they should do a pilot study before they commence the research? So you need to think about what parts of this need to be piloted. Now there's space in your booklet for you to write down your answer to this. So pause the video now and have a go. So we can think in terms of the you know, general benefits of pilot studies in terms of checking everything works and then say specific things that need to be piloted. So we're thinking about the difficulty of the task. There is an assumption here that the task itself is easy and the answer obvious, but that might not be the case. We also need to check that the participant actually believes the others, that's to say the confederates, are real participants. Then we need to check the logistical things like the time allowed for the task. So if the task itself is too short, the group pressure might not occur and therefore we might not have the desired effect. OK, different study. So we've got a study here. You'll probably recognise it a little bit like the strange situation. So a series of stages, comings and going, and a number of different things they want to measure. So again, what are you going to say to this researcher to convince them to do a pilot study? There's space in your booklet to answer this. So what have we got this time? So kind of general benefits and then relating them to is one caregiver enough? to elicit behaviour from a child. Do the things that they're observing fit into the different four behavioural categories? Can I observe everything over the set period of time? You might also want to think about logistical things in terms of from where are the observers standing? Can they actually view all of the behaviour? OK, what well, investigation about tiredness here. So you've been asked to design a study that investigates the effects of tiredness on memory. You plan to give a memory task to participants which will involve them learning a list of countries and having to recall them verbally in order. The participants will be split into two groups. Group one will consist of people who have self-reported being severely tired and group two will consist of people who have self-reported being extremely alert. Now, I want you to think about related to this, purpose of a pilot study, 
what about a pilot study is important here so I'm really ready to go on this there's a few things in here that I really need to check okay so I need to think about the memory test itself in terms of is it too easy or too hard thinking about logistical things like the length of time they have to learn the words also do I need to have a length of time for them to recall the words? I need to check what time period is going to be appropriate for that. I might also want to think about this idea of self-reporting, how tired they were and whether or not that's possibly not the best way to measure tiredness. All right, folks, join us in the next session for even more on pilot studies. That's right. There is more coming up.